Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and today we are back with another winter mini zoo series. And as you can tell, as promised, I did fill out some of the areas here. So we now have a proper entrance. Where do? Where shall I start? Okay, wait. Let's just start right over here at the raccoon's habitat. We now have. A nice sign right over here. I did hit like the educational sign inside of, of the, the planks. So uh, yes, we, we do have a real education sign and then like this uh, smaller billboard right over here. We have some wood on the floor right over here just to fill it all up. And I feel like it matches more with like the edge that we have going on on the, on the sides. So uh, yeah, I do really like that, uh, how that has turned out right over here. And uh, then we have another of that sign right over here and one on this side. Might be a little bit of an overkill, but I just really did like it with this little raccoon sign on this edge. So uh, yeah, I think it all looks really nice and it like, already comes nicely together when you have a little bit more foliage around the area. It is a little bit uh, maybe too dense right over here. Not sure if I'm going to keep that, but uh, I do kind of like it and it's it's like a totally different style that we had in our previous series and uh, maybe we can have a little bit of variation uh, throughout the zoo later on like right over here we have some flowers and stuff you guys know I, I do love the purple flowers from this biome so mm, I, I don't really mind how this is all looking so far I am not entirely sure about this. I got a little bit inspired of the uh, like a Christmas village that we did years ago with Planet Coaster, but I'm not entirely sure if uh, if this is something that we're going to keep. However, I am really happy with how this is looking. Yeah, you have like these these awnings or roofs where the guests can walk through. There are like these uh, information stands on both sides. We need to look into that because I'm not entirely sure if we have enough staff to, to keep that running. But yeah, so the guests enter right over here. They can go to the left and the right to the information stands. There are some ATMs on both sides. And if you just wanna go right straight away into the zoo, they can also do that. And now we have like this, this middle path right over here that will lead into the mini zoo that we have going on. And then if they go here, then they will go to the raccoon. So this should, also avoid any bottlenecks or anything like that and then on the right and on the left side we have these uh shops right over here we have one balloon shop that i actually already check the prizes and stuff like we do only have the anniversary balloons right over here i think everything is fine right now i don't really feel like mm, shall we make them a little bit more expensive the balloons i mean these guests do love to buy some balloons and we can earn a lot more money from them so why not just do that so we have two monsieur Frit right over here on this side and we have the street fox coffee right over here and a just a memento shop now i actually do think that maybe oh they are selling cuddly toys Okay, if we just make 16 out of that adoption pack, let's just leave that on this price right now. I don't really mind that. Like, I did spend a lot of money by for, like, building the whole area right over here. We have some toilets on both sides as well. So there's a toilet here and a toilet on the back side there on the other side as well. I don't know if I already... Uh, yes, okay, we are asking 25 cents for the toilets because if we can earn a little bit more money we should definitely do that now the uh, information says okay this one is now open but if guests want to go and buy some umbrellas if they don't have them i think we do need to check into that real quick we have six vendors but that will be enough for only these shops so we do need a minimum of two and i actually do feel like we should maybe hire even four just to make sure that we do not have any issues with shops that are closed down let's see if there is there, there's only 
and everything work roster. But for now, okay, everything is in the everything work roster, but I do think that we might actually want to go for an entrance shops section. So if I just select all these shops and make this an entrance shops work zone, no staff room, no, that's what we need. Uh, which one is the staff room? I think this is the staff room, but is that a staff room? Yes, that is. But it is quite small for so much staff. So we might want to add another one. Well, we are going to redo the whole staff section. So right now, I think we should keep it like this. I'm going to delete all these shops. Can I deselect these? Deselect that one, that one, not that one. <laughs> like so. So now... They're only in the same work roster. Now we should make sure that all the vendors that we have will be in the entrance shops work roster. So this should now be running well and hopefully as soon as possible, all the shops will be open. So like this one should definitely also open, but where is my staff? Where are you going? You are wondering, can I see where you are going? Oh, expect a higher salary for training yes do we have some money to train because even though we don't have that much money i feel like it is a good thing to do to just train all our staff we have one keeper one mechanic one security guard one caretaker do we want to get another caretaker because this one seems to be with a very high workload so maybe we should just hire two more of those because this zoo is already expanding so let's just put these in the everything over across so you are sure to be able to go to the staff room that we have in that corner right now but i am not going to be surprised if we will yes also we are lower cast a uh, cash but i will not be surprised if there is going to be complaints about the size of our staff room really soon i really want that 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 information shop to open i'm a little bit frustrated that you are not open, that I feel like, like it's raining, guests want to buy an umbrella. Can you just please open this shop? <laughs> just do it. This one is closed. Oh shoot, I closed it. Oh silly me. Okay, so we maybe do have enough staff for that, but I just closed it. I think in the beginning, I was like, oh yeah, we don't really need two information stands, but I'm just gonna plop it down already. But yeah, okay, now it is open. So do check, double check that if you're going to do this and then first close them off. Did I also close that one then? I did. Oh, silly me. Okay, maybe, maybe then the, yeah, I'm just going to fire that extra. Which one is low in energy? I'm just going to fire you so then we have 10 i think 10 vendors should be enough for now so right okay so we have the raccoons right over here they are doing pretty well swimming around in the rain they absolutely do not care i think at least their swimming area is a little bit too tiny we we could potentially try and expend a little bit more here somewhere in the backside. I love this little boat, by the way. This is also from the real life zoo habitat. They, they had at least plans to uh, to to put like a boat somewhere over here in it, like a fireplace and stuff, or a fake fireplace that is. But I, I I like this idea with that boat, and like potentially in real life they would be able to like get some shelter underneath there. I like that idea a lot. Now. I do wonder, just, just to be sure, like the raccoons are not able to go into a burrow now, are they? No, they are not. Now, I'm not sure if we did all the research for them. Is that, oh, we are not doing any research just yet. Oh gosh, that means that we maybe uh, do unlock some other things for the raccoons as well. But it's a good thing that we checked. Oh, yes, I on the roof here this is exactly what i was hoping for oh this is so cool 
<laughs> You're so adorable, aren't you? Oh, they really are. Going down. Not exactly how it should with this uh, this beam, but it is what it is. What are you doing? We're just chilling, going to sleep. Ah, so adorable. <laughs> Are you going to do anything? No, I guess not. Right, okay, for this episode, I want to add the little cute skunks in here, which is going to be the very first time that we're going to add some skunks. So the skunks are going to be right over here. They do not need like a super big habitat or anything like that. If we check the Zoopedia right over here, this is the striped skunk and they have, let's see, one, two, two. So just two adults and can have a number of offspring of five. So if we just go to here, select five, then 327. So we can luckily build a very tiny little habitat for the skunk here as well. So uh, I do really like that idea. So I think without further talking, like I already got two of these uh, beautiful uh, bronze skunks uh, via the training center. So uh, yeah, I'm just ready to add another animal in our zoo right over here. So let's do it.
So this is going to be a very exciting habitat. Not only am I just super happy with the end result, obviously, but it is a little bit too tiny for, uh, well, not two adults. It's fine for two adults, but if we are going to get some babies, then we might get, uh, get in trouble. But we're going to see how it will go. So we have one viewing gallery right over here. Why is everyone going to that way? That's really odd. So these are the two. Wait, where is the other one? Oh, there is one. They're so adorable, tiny. Ooh, whoa, what? Where did you just go? <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm going to show the habitat from the other side. So we have this more plain, open. Huh? What? Well, okay, I'm so confused. This is the more open and plain area of the habitat. And then if we go right over here, we have an indoor area. So the skunk has their own nocturnal house. And I just absolutely love this. Definitely also inspired of one of the recent zoo tours that we did, which had an incredible, beautiful nocturnal house, which looked so fantastic. This is definitely inspired of that as well. But yeah, this is like only for the skunk. I feel like it's actually looking quite big. But yeah, regarding space, they are able to use these burrows right over here. There's one over there. I actually have never seen them use this one before. So I'm not entirely sure if they are able to use that one as well. But at least they have one. Oh, there is uh, something sticking out right over here. But yeah, obviously... For the skunk, we uh, gave this a little bit more of like a foresty feeling. If you are looking at this habitat, like you can download this one. You can download these billboards because this billboard I used as well for the art farks in, I think it was Inama. No, it was not Inama Zoo, Abuya Zoo. Uh, so I already put this one in my Discord server in one of the chat rooms. So you can find my Discord server link in the description of this video and you can download basically all the billboards that I use for all my series. So um, yeah, this uh, this uh, billboard is definitely uh, taken from that Ark Fark Nocturnal House that we built uh, a while back already. And they are able to basically go from one side to the other side. So we have... I, I did hide a vista point in here because I was not really sure how many guests would actually come in here. But I, I do have the feeling... I'm not really sure if I can... It is. Is this? Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, if it's a point. I think I'm going to remove this one and just see how the gas flow will go. Maybe I will replace it again, but for now, I feel like it's all right. I did add like two of these uh, little TVs right over here and one over there to connect them with the burrows. But there's still a bug in the game that when you connect any burrows, like your grass and stuff starts to have like this really weird shimmery i really have no idea how to explain it but it looks super odd so some things feel like broken as soon as you connect a tv screen with the burrow so that's why i'm just not going to do that because it looks hideous and uh, okay so on the other side they have another open outdoor area but this one is a little bit more with like a small little river if you can call it that way a little pond just to make sure that the skunk is able to have a natural source for, for water drinking. Because, yeah, well, I just do not really uh, like the water pipe, as you may know. So I, I tried to give them this more natural area. I was able to squeeze in this bubble machine right over here. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do that. I have no idea if they're able to use it being in the water. But, uh, yeah, time will tell, I guess. So as I said... The amount of space. Let's see if we can find a skunk in here somewhere. Are you still on this side or are you all in the burrow? Like, yeah, that's the only thing. I think the keeper is not able to get in here. But I do hope that it will, like, from a distance at least, give some food to the animals. Like, for some reason, it threw food right in here. And not fill the skittle. Oh, wait, this one is used four times already. So that one does work. This one has not been filled ever. <laughs> Let's see, we have a tennis ball on this side. I have another skittle right over here. This one is also not used. So we might have to change the doorway just a tiny little bit. 
For some reason, these guests are, uh, appear to be stuck all the time here. There's nothing weird with this path going on. So I'm not entirely sure. There's just a round path right over here. And, and they just get stuck sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why that is. But I think the skunk is in the burrow right now. Can we select you and see the terrain? No, if you are in a burrow, you cannot see the terrain size. So I'm just going to move you. If I'm correct, that works. Yes, okay, perfect. So now if I click you, and we check the space. See, this is perfectly fine. It's green. But as soon as these guys would get some offspring, then we will get in trouble. They can get an offspring of a maximum of five. So if we have two in here, that's all fine. Three would be orange. Four, uh, wait, three, one. <laughs> I would say three. So one offspring would already become orange. Two, three. I am, I have no idea how much offspring they will get. So that is what we're going to find out very soon. If they get one or two, I'm not too worried. But if it's more than that, yeah, we, we're going to wait and see how that will go. My money was going down quite rapidly because I really wanted to finish this uh, beautiful nocturnal house. But, oh, yes. Oh, that's right. Look, look. I just I just love this. This is also from the from the zoo tour that we did. And, and they had like this, this beautiful like star ceiling. So I was like, oh yeah, so we're definitely going to use that. I think it looks pretty cool from here. Like you can also use this idea for like a really big nocturnal house with like separate habitats and stuff. But yeah, as I said, like this habitat is just not big enough uh, to, to do that. Unless you would have like definitely some some bigger outdoor sections as well. But yeah, due to the money issues, I did have to get, oh gosh, no height map. <laughs> I did have to get like a loan, but I can repay it already. It was only a 5,000 one. So I was like, you know what? I, I, I should be able to do that. We are earning some money right now. We have a keeper that is in this work roster with the skunk. Obviously also due to some money issues, I did not fill the rest of uh, up right over here, but we still have to work on this uh, backstage area anyway. So that is totally fine, I guess. But yeah, I do think that this is definitely coming along quite nicely. Still not entirely happy with uh, the entrance right over here. I am very happy with how this is looking and like the shops on this side. I think that looks really cool. Maybe I should just like remove that top layer or something like that to make it less obvious. But other than that, I'm just quite happy with uh, how this looks here with the raccoon, with the wood right over here and, and how they're using it. Now, we did, I, I did, it did take me quite some time to finish that skunk habitat. So we do have some more raccoons already in here. So these two already grew up and then we have e Everny and, and Ebony or something like that. I think the space, oh <laughs> gosh, well, I'm happy that we did not see any protesters in here. Their climbing need. Why is that a thing? I thought that was pretty high. Oh, they're not able anymore to, to reach the roof here? Am I am I crazy? You are stuck right over here. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is probably just a thing to just remove this one and put this one back. I think that should be enough to recalculate everything. Yes, perfect. So now um, the water requirements is a little bit low, but the climbing is all right like the water requirements we could try and make that a little bit bigger with removing some of the rocks but as long as we do not get any protesters in here i am actually not too worried about that i, I like this this viewing as well from from here by the way towards the entrance it's a pretty straight line but yeah a little bit wobbly but you can see right to the entrance how is that from here ah uh, that's all right as well Oh, that looks really nice. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with this uh, small nocturnal house for the beautiful skunk. Let me just check you out one more time if you are not in the burrow again, because these guys just love their burrow. Oh, there is one out of the burrow. <gasps> Stop. Stop. We want to have a look at your, your very cute face. I have never seen a skunk before in my life for real. 
and they just look so adorable. Like, absolutely amazing. Yeah, I did use a lot of the rocks and stuff, so that is the only downside. They are not always... It, they're, they're, it feels like they're floating sometimes. <laughs> so I'm not really sure about that, but yeah, these guys are just the cutest. Do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this uh, Striped Skunk Nocturnal House. And uh, if you want to download this one, you can find it in the collection list in the description of this video. Oh, that's right. I did hide this little enrichment item. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that cute face. I really hope we can see some babies in the next episode. But yeah, do let me know, of course, what y'all think of this new habitat. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!